Welcome to EnglishClass101.com's English in 3 Minutes, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn English. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia. In this series, we're going to learn some easy ways to ask and answer common questions in English. It's really useful, and it only takes 3 minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to ask and say where you live. Usually, someone will ask you where you live as a polite question after they've asked you your name, where you're from, and what you do for a living. They'll say, so, where do you live? This is inviting you to keep making conversation. There are lots of ways you could answer this question, but here are some of the most common. You could say, do you know, and then the name of the area you live in. Do you know Twin Pines? Or you could mention a local landmark, like, Near the library. Near the movie theater. You could also answer by telling the person what train line you live on if your city has a train network, or what station is the nearest to your house. On the green line. Near central station. So as you can see, there are lots of possible ways to answer the question, where do you live? Once you've told them, the other person might respond in one of the following ways. Oh yeah, I know it. I live near there. Or maybe, I'm afraid I don't know it. The other person is just being polite by showing interest, so you can reply by saying something like, Oh, really? Since the other person is asking you this question to be polite, a good way to continue the conversation is to ask them the same question in return. You can just say, How about you? Or, Where do you live? Put some stress on the you. Where do you live? Now it's time for Alicia's advice. Asking where someone lives is a way to try to find something you have in common with the person you're talking to. So if you're familiar with the area the other person lives in, make some comments about it. That's a really nice area. Or, the park there is really pretty. Anything is fine, as long as you don't say anything negative that could be taken as offensive, like, that area has a high crime rate. Or, I hear that area is really dangerous. Do you know how to ask which school someone goes to? Find out next time in the 8th English in 3 Minutes lesson. See you next time!